Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, what I'm going to show you guys is the Ubuntu Touch running on a Google Nexus 7. As you know, they just released the Ubuntu Touch developers preview and uh, even though it's not fully functional, it's going to give you a clear idea of what to expect from the actual um, Ubuntu Touch. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at this. So you can, this is the home screen. When you power it on, this is what you see. Okay, and all these fake numbers, you can ignore them. I don't really have 14 tweets, it's just there to give you a preview. So, <clears throat> the first thing you can do is you can swipe to the right and it reveals the quick access menu to your apps. Okay, so you can, you can hide that just by doing that. And then what you can do is you can swipe to the left and reveal your, um, your uh, standard interface. So here we have videos. We can swipe to go to apps, swipe to go to home, swipe to go to people. This is all your contacts. And uh, this is your music. And that's it. So music, people, as you can see at the bottom, it gives you a quick preview. Home, apps, and it also gives you a running apps currently running apps and frequently used apps then you go back here and you got the videos okay so let's go back to the apps and launch this calculator app remember this is the developer preview so none of this is working this is just actually just sitting there okay so let's say you're here and you want to go back to the home page what do you do you go you swipe to the left oh, there you go you swipe to the right I mean and it just takes you back and you also you get any from any screen you can access your quick apps right here. Okay, if you tap it, it goes away. The other thing that you have going on is you can swipe down. So if you swipe down from here, it shows you all your messages, email, Facebook, tweets, whatever, aggregates in this swipe down menu, and your tiny symbol up there shows that it's messages, if you can see that. Okay, so let's put this up. And uh, what you can do here is you can swipe down... Um, Okay, so do you see the time right there? Let's swipe down on that. What comes down is you can set the date and the time from here. So let's put that up. Now, as you can see, there's a little battery symbol right next to the time symbol. Uh, if you swipe down there, uh, it pulls the networks. So if you do it precisely, you'll get the battery app, uh, option. Let's do it right here. There you go. So you can get the battery if you swipe down from the battery icon. So get no go to the next one. Let's look at the um, the volume. So if you swipe down from the volume, whoop, looks like you can also swipe left and right to change your options. So let's go. Sound. Whoop. You can swipe on it. There you go. So now you can go to the sound options. Okay. Let's go back up. Let's go and launch the browser app. So I'm not connected to the internet right now. So let's say you did want to connect to connect to the internet. So you would swipe down, and you would find networks. There we go. Let's see if we can find. There you go. And then that's mine right there. I would tap that, and I would put my password in, and just click OK, and good to go. I'm not going to do that right now. This is just a preview edition, so I'm not going. I'm not worried about going online. Okay. So let's go back home. Swipe. There you go. Okay, so the two more things I want to show you guys is what you can do in the app. So if you access an app, let's go to the camera app. It's not going to be working, even though it's interactive. It's going to be. It's not going to be working. But I just want to show you. If you swipe up in any application, you know, what's going on? There you go. You get all these different options that you can change for that app. Okay, this is doesn't look very good so I'm just gonna skip it just to give an idea okay so let's uh, get out of here and the other thing I want to show you is the gallery app if you tap the gallery it's loading the um, the galleries we have okay and that's a really nice setup it's uh, it's uh, sorted by events and by date so this is the December gallery this is the November gallery okay let's tap a picture not too bad at all so if you swipe from the bottom you'll get the little menu which is available in every app 
Okay, oop. And let's go back. Tap this. We go back to home. Okay. So um, that's pretty much all there is going on in this developer preview. Once they release the full version, of course it's going to be much faster, stable, and fully interactive than this guy. Okay, well, thank you for watching this video, guys. Um, subscribe to my channel for more updates on these uh, these uh, Ubuntu on Nexus devices. And uh, click the like button if you like this video. I also have a video that walks you step by step on how to install um, Ubuntu Touch Preview on your Linux. Just look in the description section below and you'll find a link to that video. Uh, thank you very much and have a good day, guys.